This is an ABC News special report. Good afternoon to all of you. I'm Diane Sawyer here at ABC News World Headquarters in New York with George Stephanopoulos because there is big breaking news from the White House. This is an historic political and cultural moment in this country and the issue, gay marriage. That's right. The White House facing a lot of questions this week in the wake of Vice President Biden saying he's comfortable with gay marriage. On Sunday, North Carolina becoming the 30th state yesterday to ban gay marriage. The president made the news in an interview with our friend and my GMA co-anchor, Robin Roberts, down at the White House. So let's go right there. Robin. George and Diane, based upon what you just said, yes, the vote last night in North Carolina, what Vice President Biden said earlier in the week and what his press secretary, uh, Jay Carney, said yesterday and that the president would speak for himself on his position. So I asked the president, does he still oppose same-sex marriage? It is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. So once again, the president supports same-sex marriage and Diane and George, he was very comfortable in discussing this. We had other topics that we discussed, but the majority of the interview was on same-sex marriage, and he had a lot more to say about that. It was very important for him to say it himself and not have others speak on his behalf. And Robin, did he tell you anything about why he decided to do it today? Did Vice President Biden force his hand, or was that planned? Uh, I did ask him that, about what the Vice President said, and also his Education Secretary, Arne Duncan, also just recently uh, in support of same-sex marriage. Uh, the president laughed and he said um, that this was a discussion that they had been having and that they were planning on having perhaps before the election. So perhaps uh, the vice president did, did jump the gun just a little bit. But I asked him if he was angry at all with his administrators, uh, top people in his administration uh, being so vocal. And he said absolutely not. He was not upset at all with them. And, and Diane, there had been a lot of debate inside the Obama campaign for a long time about how to do this and when to do this. And there were many who were thinking it shouldn't come out before mm -hmm. the election. But in many ways, the president also forced into a bit of a corner. You had those comments by the vice president. You had these votes. You know the president was going to be getting questions on this straight through to the election. And probably the, the big key, already his convention chairman, the Democratic leader in the mm -hmm. House, Nancy Pelosi, a majority of Democrats were trying to put into the platform at the Democratic convention support for gay marriage. So the president also facing a big fight at his convention that he did not want to have. Political calculation, some mix. This is a big move by the president. He has been on the record for years against same-sex marriage. Now he becomes the first president to say he believes that men and men should have the right to marry, women and women should have the right to marry. That is, mm -hmm. this day will, will always be marked by that decision. And Robin, I want to bring you back in because he talked about Sasha and Malia at one point. He did. He talked about being around the dinner ta table with Mrs. Obama and that they would talk about some of their friends and that their parents were same sex. And it, it, he feels it's generational. For his children, it was th no big deal. And so he felt that that was perhaps a conversation that was taking place across uh, the country. But yes, he did talk about Malia and Sasha. I asked him also about his conversations with Mrs. Obama. And she said, absolutely. He said, absolutely. That is something that they have discussed over the years. And she is fully supportive as well. So again, we'll, we'll let the president speak for himself tonight. I'll do the plug here tonight on World <laughs> News and tomorrow on Good Morning America. Well done. You should be in the TV business. <laughs> Very I don't well have done. A shot. I don't have a shot. <laughs> and as Robin points out, polling shows if you're under the age of 40, 61% of people under the age of 40 in this country do approve same-sex marriage. And just last year, for the first time, a majority of Americans said they approve same-sex marriage, right. even though you have those 30 states. This has been a special report from ABC News.